Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Solution Architect channel. No, I don't live in America. Um, I do love America and maybe one day we'll go live there. So let's see what happens. Today's video is about Git, installing Git, configuring Visual Studio Code on Git, and then publish code from Git to Azure DevOps, the Azure Repos uh, central repository. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that now and click the like button. I'm going to do some giveaway at the end of the series. So there's going to be a several videos that I'm going to create part of the series. And then I'm going to give away something which I will reveal in my next video that I upload onto YouTube. So keep on watching and I hope you enjoy this video. So before um, I jump into the configuration on how to install Git and how to configure Azure repos. I'm going to show you this is the pipeline that I'm going to follow in the series of the videos I'm making for DevOps. So we'll start with coding, checking code into Git, I publish it to Azure repos, and then we'll trigger a build process. The build process will then trigger um, automated testing, and then we'll package and configure that package on a server and then we'll also do some automated deployment to that server and then we'll do some smoke test. So this is the pipeline that I'm going to follow in this series. So let's go in and I'll show you how to, to install and configure Git. So this is a Windows 10 machine, brand new uh, virtual machine that I created. Go into Explorer or Chrome and then type in gitforwindows.org. And then you'll get this, Git for Windows, and download the latest version. And when that is done, you just open it when it's done, and that will install. Next. Just keep all the settings as it is by default here. The next one you can use uh, select make sure it's selected visual studio code as git's default editor and just leave it on default um, git from the command line and also from third-party software leave it on use the open ssl library leave it on windows style Leave it on min TTY. Keep the default there and just install. And I'm going to pause and continue when this is done. Before you start, just go one back and I'm going to probably put something in my video. You have to have Visual Studio Code installed already on your Windows machine. So this is finished installing. Um, we're not going to launch the git bash right here we're going to open visual studio code also need to know that you need to install the dotnet core uh, libraries i'll show you after this where to find that uh, but let's first configure git quickly on visual studio code you go to terminal and new terminal and you type in here git credentials dot helper when RED. So you type in git config minus minus sign global credential dot helper space win red and you press enter. And that will configure that for you. The next thing you want to do is git config. Sorry. You want to configure your username, user.name, and 
and then the last one is your email address the reason for this is if you are using github then you can use this to upload your code to github we're not in this uh, series going to do github right now maybe in the next uh, when, when we use the jenkins the solution architect um, that is my email address for the solution architect channel the sole architect and then you're done with the initial configuration okay so you need to go to your browser back to your browser and then go to dev.azure.com if you go to to that you need to create a, a account which is free I've got a, the solution architect account um, and then you need to create your project that you want to do so we're just going to do uh, DevOps project one keep it private you can have it public if you want to share it with the world but you but in this one I'm going to keep it private and create project so we're inside our project right now and you can see on your left hand side a few menu items on the Azure DevOps uh, platform there is an overview of your project where I'm in right now we've got summary you've got dashboards you've got a wiki area this is quite nice uh, the boards area where you can create agile projects using scrum or kanban you've got your repos where we want to go in right now and you've got pipelines test plans and artifacts and let's go into our repos because that's what we want to configure on on this um, video there's several ways of cloning the Azure repos um, repository to to local to your machine you can do a copy and paste where you can just copy this URL and then configure it on your um, your IDE you can use normal Visual Studio or you can use the Visual Studio code I've got Visual Studio code the easiest way and Microsoft has done it really easy and simple for us to use is just click on clone in Visual Studio and that will open in Visual Studio Code open and now you need to select an area now this is my virtual machine as I said I haven't even created a project area yet so I'm just going to on this PC um, on C drive I'm just going to create a new folder and let's call this do project one and this is then going to select the repository where the location is of the code that I'm going to upload wait till that cloning is done going to ask me to sign into my account to link this to the repository my Visual Studio Code and you'll see why this is important password dot 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 this is so we, every time you open up Visual Studio Code your Visual Studio Code is automatically linked to your account and also linked to your repos account in Azure DevOps
it's going to maximize Visual Studio Code. And you'll see that, that you already, um, it's just a bit slow. You're linked to the master branch of the repository on, on Azure DevOps. So now all you need to do here is start adding some code. Okay, so let's create a very simple application. Go to Terminal, New Terminal. Okay, it eventually opened. Um, I, what I did is just increase my CPU and memory for this virtual machine. So I went back into Visual Studio Code. And what we do now is just going to create a new .NET, new, just a console app. We're not going to really do any coding right now, but if you want to do that, Remember, you need to have the .NET Core SDK installed. I mentioned that earlier in the video. And to do that is the easiest way just to search on your browser, just so .NET Core install. Go to Microsoft .NET Core, and you'll see .NET Core here. It's this one that you need to install. I've already installed it. You can do that after you've installed your Visual Studio Code. This is um, will be enable you to write some .NET code. So you'll see now, going back to Visual Studio Code, just a very simple application, a hello world. If you want to test if it's working, you can just say .NET run. And hello world but this is not about the code itself it's more about checking in the code now microsoft has made it easy so we've just configured our uh, azure repos and you want to commit your code you go to to this source control icon here and then you go to message and it's new console application and commit now it's going to ask you there are no stages changes to the commit which you like to automatically stage all your stages and commit them directly you can say yes meaning that it will commit directly to git and to git uh, to azure repos Okay, now click on the three dotted icon there and then click push to push your code to uh, to add your repos. And then go to your browser. Refresh here. And the code is in Azure DevOps on that branch that you created. It's a master branch. It's important to remember that you shouldn't use the master branch the, the way I, I've done it. You should have a development branch. You should have features branch. But this is just simply to show you more or less how to upload code, push it from local repository to your Azure DevOps, Azure Repos repository. So that concludes my video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, there is going to be a giveaway at the end of the series of the videos. As soon as we get to final deployment to a server, I'm going to ask a few questions. I'm probably going to put that on my Patreon site. The first person getting all the questions right will get the free gift. In my next video, I will show you exactly what I'm going to give away. And there might be something to do with my, my channel itself. Um, but you might like it. I'm sure you will. Thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't done that. And please click like and please share. I want to see if I can get up to 200 subscribers very quickly in a short time. And just, this is to be able to help people out there that um, is new in this environment, new in development. And if you have a specific question, please leave it down below in the comments. And I can see if I can work on a video for you. I've done that in the past as well.